Welcome, welcome, welcome back, family. Welcome to the Reiki Healing Hope community, a place to heal, relax, and be yourself, and be surrounded by those who want to see you, yes, you, bloom. I am Jessica, a Reiki master and intuitive. Today we have a special healing session for the thyroid and throat chakra so this is super special because it is a request and we're going to be working that area so that's going to be not only speaking the truth not only working with the throat but also working with the endocrine system as the thyroid is a major part of that and that really talks about the balance of hormones in our body so the hormonal flow that happens within our body so let's get started i hope you all are enjoying full face april y'all know these nails about to start looking real rough soon so let's just enjoy the face so let's get started we start our practice with a prayer it is a multi-peak prayer to validate everyone and to root us down in our individual healing experience and connecting us as a community and because consent matters and prayer is so precious that I want you to be um, supported and I want you to feel comfortable do I have your permission to say a prayer okay may I touch you okay. dear mother father God and all for the highest good please us to the Ascendant Masters, the Reiki Masters, Master Jesus, Master Buddha, Master Kutumi, Oshun, Mawu, Waitara, and all the Taras. Please root us down in our individual healing journey, bringing us forward as a community and healing the thyroid, the throat, and all of the endocrine energetic system that flows with our hormonal balance so that we may remove blockages, send energy, remove energy into any direction it needs to go being anointed and blessed with the greatest amount of energy i say all of this in the name of i am ashe 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 so the crystal we're going to be using today you can use a lapis or a soda light for the throat chakra now i'm going to be tuning in here I'm just going to go in and draw the Reiki symbols on your throat because we're activating this area and we're just creating an environment or a, a feeling, a atmosphere, a vibe, I like that better, a vibe, we're creating a vibe that you feel as supported as possible. So I'm going to go in and draw those Reiki using this wand to channel my energy in a certain energetic wavelength and so the wavelength is that of the throat and the thyroid now just to assess thyroid issues from an energetic perspective of course always consult consult with your doctor thyroid issues from an energetic perspective have a lot to do with early childhood work on you and talk about it at the same time it has a lot to do with early childhood i've seen um when i went through my reiki training there was a lady there's actually two ladies who happened to have a very similar issue with the thyroid one had had it enlarged um 
and I'm not clear if it was thyroid cancer or um, meaning abnormal cell growth or the thyroid itself just grew uh, so long that it needed to be um, that it needed to be cut but it wasn't it needed to be reduced in size but it wasn't necessarily cancerous she had a situation which she had to have a part of the thyroid cut down and when we worked on it and talked about it energetically she said that when she was younger this woman was in her i want to say maybe 60s late 50s she talked about that saying when you are younger to be seen and not heard and to be raised at a certain time where that's what people value they didn't necessarily value emotional well-being for children you know i would hope that people wouldn't want their children to be hurt but during that time that it just was a different understanding you know discipline was seen as good for a child you know you hear it biblically spare the rod and spoil the child and things like that so at that time people didn't necessarily know how to communicate what was going on emotionally so they would say certain things like you know be seen and not heard do as i say not as i do and so from a very early age this woman had a difficult time communicating how she was feeling because she was told to be seen and not heard so as she grew and as your hormonal system is happening your endocrine system as you're feeling thrown off you're compromising yourself by not speaking up now for your actual safety you might have not felt safe enough to be in an environment where you could speak up so that's one thing there so she was doing the best that she possibly could given the environment given the environment that she was in okay given the environment that she was in but she talked about how that then impacted her health later on and so as we've gone over before psychosomatic disorders how or psychosomatic illnesses how the things that you feel and you think over time how it can be deeply traumatizing to the body having a traumatic experience and how that can start to create physical ailments that come up and that's one thing that came up with her so her not being able to deal with those things as a child then came up in her life as an adult with an enlarged thyroid that had to be cut down so what that indicates from an energetic perspective is there was a blockage there was no movement so for example sending energy to the thyroid there would not make sense because it's already enlarged now just kind of a side conversation of hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism hyperthyroidism means there's too much activity in the thyroid and hypothyroidism means there's not enough activity in the thyroid and a lot of information is written nowadays you know just common information of people wanting to help um, heal the thyroid with the idea that you take certain herbs you do certain things to help the thyroid but there's not a one-way fits all you have to be aware of what you need to do for example iodine is a perfect um, supplement for the thyroid if it is hypothyroidism because iodine is going to activate that thyroid and it's going to help regulate the endocrine process when it comes to the throat but if you have hyperthyroidism that actually does not help you you do not want to have extra activity there so just working with your doctor to look at the symptoms and look at what makes most sense to you and also this is educational where just being preventative to prevent yourself from being in a situation in which the thyroid is thrown off so so the thyroid is a lot about speaking your truth and being able to speak that truth okay so i'm going to go in through the neck and i'm going to send that activating the entire endocrine process all the way up to the head all the way down to your root to your reproductive energetic 
hormonal centers. So with those reproductive energetic hormonal systems, finding that balance, removing that stagnant, stuck energy in the thyroid. Let me see. I'm going to put this down and I'm going to balance this. I'm going to split it between those who have overactivity and those who have underactivity. And so one side will be sending and moving the energy to activate the thyroid. While the other side will be moving that energy through, not sending any energy. So it's kind of a split energetic healing session. The most important Thing is that the energy be balanced out to a level amount and that it move through the body speak your truth putting my hand right there on your throat feeling it warm I want you to speak your truth okay say what you need to say don't worry about nothing else you are safe you are protected have faith in the universe, God's source, to speak your truth and to be protected at that time. That the protection will come to you. Or that you can be courageous enough to speak up for what you need to speak up for. Place my hand around your neck, feeling warm. Allowing this energy to level and circulate. Oh, okay. Good job, family. here. I'm just going to take you like this. Move that energy from the throat. I'm going to take a moment just to check and see if anything else is coming up. I'm right here. I haven't gone nowhere. I'm still here. So this has been coming up in um, the other readings of uncertainty and if you feel like you can't say what you really want to say because you're not 100% certain don't worry about that just speak your truth and be and surround yourself by those who will walk with you and find the answer or find the clarity together you don't have to know the answer I think that it's coming off like you feel like you have to know the answer and you do not need to know the answer you just need to be surrounded by a team because if you want to go somewhere far you go with others so you have to be surrounded by those who support you and maybe that means you have to go outside of your typical everyday people to connect with those people in your life that you know that are supporting that are loving that are those kinds of things in order to balance you out and then with the other people that you may experience on an everyday basis, you know, allow those relationships and those energetic situations to grow towards that. But it's really a time to prioritize that you feel comforted. And so it also talks about, you know, speaking your dreams and speaking your hopes into existence. You may not be able to tell everybody, but tell the people who you know will definitely lift you up. And that'll encourage a natural flow. And remember, you know, sometimes you might be so, I don't want to use the word far gone, but I'm going to say it like this. You might have reinforced in your body for many, many years a certain energetic balance that is wreaking havoc on your health. And to that, you may need to use actual medicine and actual energy um, in order to balance that out. So just say, speak with your healthcare providers and they are definitely here to help, 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 help. Okay. But you did fantastic, family. It's not a bad thing at all. Speaking your truth is the quickest way to really balance these things out and to feel, to feel good and to feel woosa. So just speak your truth, whether that is journaling, you can journal on your own too. And that is a wonderful way to clear imbalance as well as being proactive, seeing conventional doctors, seeing um, alternative medicine doctors, seeing all of these communities you have at your disposal in order to balance because it's going to be multifaceted. It's not one way. 
it's not just energy healing it's not just medication it's a balance of all of these things and you have to address each and every one of these things so i'm going to clear you out with the sign of the infinity insanity infinity and send you on your way you're good go ahead and speak your truth girl <laughs> go ahead and speak it out so if you want to send it to you i'm going to go ahead and say it don't touch your face wash your hands and i love you take care of yourself okay so until next time